In the last presentation, we completed the basic of Hamming code and we also detected the error in that presentation. Now in this presentation, we will try to correct the error. You can see an example in front of you and this is the format of the question that will be asked in your exam. In this, it is mentioned that we are having a 7-bit Hamming code, you can see. And uh, the receiver is receiving this bit stream written here that is one zero one one zero one one assuming the even parity now the even parity is there whether the received code is correct or wrong that we have to find out and also we have to locate the bit having error so there are a few points that I am going to explain you again it is a 7 bit Hamming code so I have made this 7 bit Hamming code already and the bit stream received by the receiver is 1011011 so let's write it down 1011011 now we have to check whether the bit stream sent by the sending end is correct or not and uh, for that we require this information that it is the even parity okay and uh, we have to locate the bit having the error so let's start with it we know there are three parity bits in it p1 p2 and p4 that we saw in the last presentation so first we will check for the p4 okay and you already know the p4 is associated with your d5 d6 and d7 fine now in this you can see that p4 is 1 so I will write 1 d5 this is d5 is 1 d6 is 0 and d7 is 1 so 1 0 1 now you can see that the total number of 1 in this is 3 which is what which is odd but it is clearly mentioned in the problem that they have sent the even parity and we are getting the odd parity here so it is very much obvious that there is the error and once you find it contradictory that even parity is mentioned and you are getting the odd parity just put the parity bit p4 or any other parity bit involved equal to 1 this is the most important point this is the most important point in this whole presentation that whenever there is a contradiction you have to put the parity bit equal to 1 this is what we have to do to correct the error okay now we will move to p2 p2 is associated with d3 d6 d7 that we saw in the last presentation and p2 here given as 1 okay let me change the color for this this is 1 d3 is 0 d6 is 0 and d7 is 1 now you can see that there are in total two ones and this is even and they have sent even parity so there is no error in this parity so I will write p2 equal to 0 because there is no contradiction okay now we will check for the last parity bit p1 okay and the p1 is associated with your d3 d5 d7 p1 is 1 given in the question d3 is 0 d5 is 1 and d7 is 1 again you can see there are in total three ones and three one is odd so there is a contradiction so i will make p1 equal to 1 so this is all that we need to do we have to find out p4 p2 and p1 depending upon whether they are depicting the true value or not and we did that now it's time to write them collectively p4 p2 p1 and it will give us 1 0 1 now this is in binary if i want to convert it in decimal i will get 5 okay you all know the decimal to binary and binary to decimal conversion and this is 5 this is 4 2 1 and it is 0 so 4 plus 1 gives you 5 so 5 in decimal so the fifth bit is having the error fifth bit is what d5 this is your fifth bit so this one is having the error and if it is having the error the only other possibility is that it was zero so our answer should be one zero zero we have to change this one to zero because it is having error that we just found out 
and then rest of the things is all right one zero one one so this is what the correct code that was sent from the senders end this is how we check and we correct the error that I have completed in the two presentations I hope you got this if you have any problem then you can ask in the comment box so see you in the next presentation